Hi guys, Happy New Year's Eve to you all. We're nearly at the end of 2022, God willing. This is the last day of the year. I hope that you're going to spend some time doing things that you enjoy, having fun, you know, maybe taking some time to reflect. I've been reflecting on my year so far and all in all, I'm really pleased with how my year has gone. Obviously, there are things naturally that I wish that I could improve on. But, you know, I'm really glad that my business is doing well, that, you know, I've been more healthy. I've been spending time doing more productive things and really just showing myself grace. I think for me this year, the main thing has been for me is to be more nicer to myself by showing myself grace. Obviously, God willing, as the time goes on, I can improve on other things and going into 2023, that's what I will do. But one of the things I wanted to talk to you about today, and it's a word of encouragement, and um, I wanted to say to you, don't dim your light because others are insecure about your shine. And I'm going to explain a little bit what I mean by that in a second. But one of the things I want to say about not dimming your light because others are insecure about your shine is that it's not about being prideful. It's not about being boastful. It's not about rubbing people's um, um, nose in it. It's none of those things. It's about authentically embracing who you are, your potential, your talent and going forward boldly with confidence. Now, one of the things I did notice last year, especially the latter part of the, part of the year, is that I started to shrink back from doing certain things in certain circles that I mix in. So basically, you know, I wouldn't speak up about my achievements. I, um, you know, didn't put myself forward for certain things because within those circles, those people in those circles are, you know, high up in their field. They, natu they got there by their education and everything else. But obviously, as I've mentioned on other videos before, you know, I've had to work doubly hard to get to where I am now. I came from a background of childhood sexual abuse trauma. I was in care. I left care with very fragmented education. And I've had to really work hard and grab all the opportunities given to me. And what I noticed is that I, is that I was shrinking back from putting myself forward for certain things, for, you know, telling people what I was really good at because other people feel insecure about the things that I've accomplished because of my background now you know that is nothing of my fault or anything like that you know I've had to work hard to get to where I am before but one of the things I'm not doing in 2023 anymore is to shrink back because of other people's insecurities and feelings as I mentioned it's not about boasting it's not about being prideful it's about authentically being myself showing people what I'm good at and being confident in the skills, talents and abilities that the Lord God has given me. If people feel insecure about that, if they feel jealous about that, if they feel, you know, um, upset about that, that's nothing I can do about that. You know, that is their problem and their issue. But I've decided this year, well, I've decided for 2023 that this is what I am going to do. I'm going to be bold next year. I'm going to be courageous. I'm going to go forward and I'm going to embrace everything that the Lord God has in store for me. And I'm not going to apologize for it. So if you're somebody out there who has shrunk back in 2022 because your social circle um, didn't want you to do certain things, even though they know you were really good at it, because other people felt insecure about your achievements, I want to encourage you not to dim your light because others are insecure about your shine. I want to encourage you, as I encourage myself in 2023, to go forward and let your light shine bright. Happy New Year to you and I will see you in another video soon.